boss. The man behind the voice right here. <laughs> TV. I hope you guys can hear me properly kasi hindi omnidirectional yung mic ko um, I'll try to speak louder na lang to make sure that you guys can hear me but anyway welcome na naman sa channel and uh, for uh, uh, this episode it's a car feature series natin we have this beautiful ride which is manufactured by Nissan and which is owned by our dear friend Nick Nick, say hi. Hey everybody, how are you? What's up? How are you? Yeah, so uh, first and foremost, thank you for having us today. Um, Definitely. You know, to cover your car. This It's been a it's been a, a, a long process. Long, long process, definitely. Before we can, uh, you know, continue with um, <laughs> filming this beautiful car. Yeah. So, um, sinasabi ko sa kanila, Nick, I'm not much of a, a Nissan guy. Um, but you have that slight edge over me when it comes to knowledge. A little bit, I think. Just a little. Uh, not a lot, but just a little. <laughs> but still, you were able to really make this car a dream for other people. Yun na yun eh. Yun na yung importante yeah. So you have the knowledge and know-how on yeah. how to deal with how you, you build the car. I'll build it. Build so, um, so, Nick, tell us something about before tayo mag start no um before tayo mag start dito sa car natin today ano yung ano ano yung uh, tell us a story about yourself yung yung hilig mo sa cars hilig how did it cars. started um when you were young paano ba is it something that you uh, got from your dad yung interest mo yung passion mo sa cars um yung well interest ko sa cars noon it Yung, my dad wasn't around really he he was here working in the u.s so you know i only saw him twice in the eight years first eight years of my uh -huh. life right uh -huh. so and that was okay um i knew what it was doing but really my my interest in cars started out with matchbox and hot wheels oh, okay. yeah those are the ones that you know i was like collecting him like oh man i want this car um so from then on it it went up to like remote controlled cars mm -hmm. you know to where it's more you can manipulate it you can move it and see how it really works mm -hmm. um and then from then on you know i came to the u.s started out with a honda civic of mm -hmm. all things um okay. that's like that's like okay. the that's that was the first car that i really had it was a 98 two-door um civic ex 
Okay, so yeah. PK siya, mm-hmm. tapos uh, 98 spec. 98 spec. Sabi nga nila di, sabi nga nila sa atin, bigote, di ba? Of course. Pero of course, yung SDM, wala siya nung bigote sa bumper. Wala, oh. wala. So I had to do a lot of modifications on that one. Um, Binilin ko ng SIR front lip, um, JDM fog lights, uh, JDM headlights. Mm-hmm. Um, I also did the full suspension on that car. Um, you know, that one I think was the first car that I could say confidently that I could take it to any canyon or any um, track and it will hold. Wherever you point the steering wheel, that's where it's gonna go. Um, you know, it was very, the suspension was very well built. Not a lot of power as most Hondas, you know, don't really have power unless you put a lot of money into the motor. Mm-hmm. Baka, pero it was good, you know. Yung handling niya ang ganda. Um, just enough power na it's okay to you know get up the mountain, get down the mountain, get through the mountain pass. Ganon. Pero ang bottom line nun is talagang nahandon. Kung baga, you were happy. Yeah, I was very happy. Yon. That was binigay ko yung sa, sa sister ko. She drove it for a couple of years. That was na total kasi somebody cut her off. That was. Of course, she uh, she responded, uh-huh. uh, overcorrected, slammed into the wall. So that's you know that car was gone. That was good. Um, and then I got into a 2015 STI, brand new, when I bought it off the showroom floor. Mm-hmm. I built yeah WRX STI. Um, I went ahead and built that one also until 2015 to 2018. Yun yung na build ko talaga na This is you know one of the best things. That features a uh, week fest, um, San Francisco Auto Salon. Um, what else is there? Uh, Stance, uh, Stance Nation. Stance Nation. Yeah. And don't din siya noon. Um, tapos yung uh, Spocom. Spocom okay. nandun din. Okay, Spocom. Yeah. Tapos, you know, so I got, all major car shows pala? Yeah, no, yun, yun yung STI, siya. yun, yun oh, okay. napunta doon. So, habang pinag-uusapan natin ito, pina, pinapakita natin yung pictures niya. So, yeah. you have to... So, I'll show you that one. Okay, yeah. 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 Um, tapos, yun na. And tapos, one time, one day, I was we were watching YouTube, me and my son watching YouTube, right? He's 10 years old now, but this was, he was 8 at the time. And, you know, I was just watching, going through YouTube, and I saw drift cars. And he's all like, I want a drift car. I'm all like, you don't even have, you don't even know how to drift. You don't even know how to drive. Eight years old, what do you know about drift cars? You know, I was like, I like it. It smokes. I'm all like, well, as big as the tires. I was yung, yung, I was nakita ko yung interest niya talaga sa koche. Tapos sabi ko, okay, let's, let's look for a 240. You know, okay. funny thing yung dalawang kasin ko, pareho sila may 240. So they're the ones that sabi nila, Ginay nila talaga ako na get a hatch, sabi niya. Kasi, kasi, uh, kasi noon gusto ko yung uh, 98, um, 240. Ganun ang GoPro. Nice GoPro. Yeah. But anyways, sabi ko sa kanya, I want a 240, I want a Sylvia body. And it's like, what what Sylvia body? Do you want the S13 or the S14 Sylvia body? And I said, I want the S14 because it's more modern, parts are going to be easier. And it's all like, you know, sabi na, if you really want something that will you know go up in value you should get the hatch because i guess not a lot of hatches are around anymore no, no, no. yeah so yun. um i went on craigslist tapos nakita ko to sa craigslist um before it wasn't uh this nice tapos yun. uh pumunta ko pinili ko sa fresno mga three hours away uh after work me and my friend we went to fresno got a u-haul got a trailer went to fresno picked it up and then the rest is history the rest is history yeah. and you went from there yeah so it was very interesting story Nick um, so yung pala ang deciding factor mo was because your son he wants pushed me an he, S14 an, uh, yeah. or a drift car yeah na sinasabi niya na ano yung sabi niya bakit mo tinanong kung bakit why do you want it uh-huh. it smokes oh, it smokes that's <laughs> okay. all of it it's the, it's the tires you know you can uh-huh. do it to any car and then, but he liked it so I'm like okay well let's okay. go see so yeah. that's that's one of the decisions na talagang you really consider talaga yung ano eh no? yung interest din nung uh, nung son mo yeah para magkaroon din siya ng magandang experience growing yeah. up so yeah. it's one of the things na you know, a father and a son 
yeah. can bond together. Yeah. The same interest na maipapas mo rin sa kanya when Definitely. the time he grows up, right? Definitely. Until now, he's, every time he sees us in the garage, he's like, that's my car. That's See. my car. That's his car. So, and it's true. It's going to be his car. It, nobody's going to have it. Well, yeah. Technically, it's not manifesting already. Yeah. He's owning he's it. He's owning it. He's so, owning talaga it. sa kanya talaga pupunta to. Okay. Uh, once he turns 15, 16, sa kanya talaga to. So, Ito kaya yung susunod na project mo pagkatapos na. No? Oh, meron na ako. <laughs> we'll meron na ako. <laughs> Napili na. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Pag-uusapan natin yeah. yan. But for now, we'll talk about this car. Yeah. Um, so, Nick. Start na tayo, ikuti na natin yung exterior muna. Yeah, no? definitely. Um, um, uh, I, I've heard a lot of stories from you. Matagal na nag-uusap pa tayo about the, the car. And it was a challenge. Alam ko, nagkaroon ka ng challenges oh, yeah. when you went, went dun sa process of yeah. having or, you know, getting the car parts that you need for this. Yeah. But we'll focus doon sa mga parts na nilagay mo. Not and right. we'll, okay. we'll try to uh, dissect yung differences ng normal parts ng mm-hmm. S14 dun sa mga parts na kinabit natin dito, okay? Yeah. So, so S13. We'll, S13. S13, yeah, S13, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, yeah. So, umpisahan natin to on the right foot. Anong model to, Nick? 1992 240SX, uh, base model. Okay, so base model siya ng 1992 240SX. Mm-hmm. So, mag-start tayo dun sa paint. Ano ang, uh, uh, as far as I know, this is an uh, uh, OEM paint, right? OEM paint, yeah. And ano yung, uh, meron ba siyang color code? Uh, KG4. KG4, KG4 it is, um, stands for? Sandstone Metallic. Okay, so Sandstone Metallic yung kanyang uh, color. Kung makikita nyo, um, bagay na bagay yung kulay sa kanya. And, um, it really gives out yung lahat ng details ng kotse. So, this is a perfect color para dito sa 240SX na to. Sa S13. Tama? Yeah, S13. S13. Yeah. Okay, so sa S13. Sorry, medyo nabubulol ako, guys. <laughs> but yeah, um, we'll start with the exterior. Saan tayo magsistart? Sa front end? Yeah, we can start with the front end. Okay, so yeah. ano yung mga pinalit mo dito na parts? So, hindi siya sa original. original na S13. Okay, so yung nabili ko na to S13, yung shark nose, di ba yung uh, what they call it for shark nose. Uh-huh. Tapos ito, the whole fascia, ito, okay. is a cookie conversion. Okay. So this one is the JDM front end. Mm-hmm. Um, when we say cookie? Cookie, uh, that's the third uh, generation. Okay, third yeah, generation. Third generation. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, so this was found on a 96 spec S13, I believe, mm-hmm. if mm-hmm. I'm correct. So um, this bumper came. Uh, it, it was actually in stock dito sa US. So US, okay. Yeah, um, from Olympia Nissan mm-hmm. uh, in Washington. Mm-hmm. So the whole front end, including the lights, the bulbs. Oh the, really? The, yeah. Pati yung fog lights. Fog lights. The um, the, the grill. The, 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 yeah, the turn signals. Uh-huh. Everything. The 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 support inside. The brackets. Lahat lahat complete kit yan. Okay. Nas, nandun sa Olympia Nissan. Uh-huh. Nissan Part CC, if you're seeing this, Nissan Part CC, they're the ones that uh, provided me with the whole front end okay. for this one. They're the ones who hooked you up. Yeah. Shout out to you guys yeah. for making this happen. So, um, yung front bumper na to is different or is it a separate piece from your lip? It is a separate piece from the lip. Okay. Yung so tell lip us more kit, about it. Yung lip kit actually um, the whole arrow, even from the side all the way to the back. Oh, it's a complete body it's a kit. Complete kit. So okay. this one right here, this side right here, this whole side right here too. Uh huh. Including the back valence. Okay. This one, this middle piece is all one one set, including the wing. Uh huh. So that is the Type X kit that they call it. Even the tail lights right here, they're there is still the um, they call it Type X also, but you can find that in the normal JDM cars and JDM oh. S13s. Like, okay, cool. So I I got that, and then I said, oh shoot, you know, I need a wing. So that wing actually came here from San Jose. It's an OEM wing. I found it through a mutual friend. And uh, um, me and my friend knows him. Uh-huh. I was asking him how much for the wings. I was, you know, he gave me the price. I was like, okay, I'll take it. You know, so I got excited. 
Once I got the wing, the full the, the kit was complete. It was awesome. The tail lights, I got everything. The tail lights was that first one that I actually bought. Uh -huh. um, in uh, in LA, my cousin, um, one of my cousins, linked to me on Instagram. Sabi niya, look, man, meron meron tail lights dito. Pick it up. It's good price. Complete kit. You know, and at that time before pandemic, it's not. You know, it wasn't. It wasn't hard to find these parts. Now exactly. it's they're so rare. Yeah. People will charge a lot of money now. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, well, let's uh, let's go ahead and do it. You know. By the way, this was a pandemic build. Uh, see, so, ito yung producto ng pandemic. Yeah. Um, y you got nothing to do at home. You feel that you wanna, you know, start up with uh, the project, and this yeah. is what what it came out to be. Yeah. So, as as you can see, this is kind of different hood from um, the original S13. Na nakikita natin sa magazines, sa internet, sa mga photos. So, can you tell us more about the hood and what do you call this hood? This hood is a Koguchi Power Hood. It's uh, directly from Japan. It's uh, has a seven month lead time wait because the hood oh, is made to order. Speed Image USA. But you know what? The, the, the wait is all worth it. Yes. It's a full fiberglass also. Mm, this I is full see. fiberglass. So, it yeah. gives out uh, a few pounds off. A few pounds off. Yeah. Sa body or dun sa weight ng car natin mm -hmm. when you have this. Yeah. Um, napaka sleep. Well, hindi siya sleeper kasi bukas eh, di ba? Pero in terms of naka paint mat siya, body color, kala mo, unahin mo iisipin when, when, kung hindi ka masyadong keen eyed when it comes to, to upgrades. Hindi mo iisipin na aftermarket siya. Yeah. Di ba? For, for these types of cars, Parang akala mo, it's it's just you know it comes with a car when you when you bought it from the dealership at that time in yeah. 1990 93 tama ba? 92 92 yeah 92 right so yeah. it is it is uh, maganda kasi he decided into making this or parang kinolor match na talaga the way the whole body is mm -hmm. para hindi masyadong pansinan yeah. kasi it's carbon fiber right it's a uh, fiberglass oh fiberglass, fiberglass. Okay, yeah. sorry sorry so it's fiberglass sheds a lot of pounds from the original hood yeah. makes the car even more yeah. uh, nimble nimble but yeah. the things uh, uh, speed and performance yeah. it also helps with that it's vented mm -hmm. so the the heat will come out easily easy, easy. yeah yeah, yeah. so kaguchi kaguchi power kaguchi power yeah kaguchi power <laughs> marami na ako natututunan guys <laughs> right now from uh, certified nissan guy yeah 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 all right so, so this a lot of problems too with this one, the hood. I mean, it's a process, right? Yeah. So we'll, we'll talk about that when we open yeah. the the hood yeah. later. Okay. So tapos na siguro tayo dun sa ano, dun sa uh, exterior niya, mga pan panels niya and whatnot. Wala nang ibang difference, eh, no? Na nilagay ka, di ba? No, wala, wala, wala talaga. Wala talaga. Um, the only thing they changed the the side marker here. Oh, okay. Kasi yan, uh, part of the front end yan. Oh, uh, okay. No? So kasi kasama siya dun sa... Kasama sa package oh, talaga. Okay. Yeah, na um, Olympia Nissan yung sabi nila. You're, you're gonna do the front end, do the whole thing. Do the sabi, whole thing. Do it once, do it right, sabi yeah, nila. That's so, true. I, yeah. I'm a firm believer of yeah. those things. Anyway, so let's move on with the uh, wheels, brakes, and suspension. Okay. So, Nick, uh, ano bang difference natin dito or ano ba yung kinabit mo sa wheels, brakes, um, and suspension? So, for this one, it comes with a four lug before. Four lug, um, uh, four by 114.3. Uh -huh. As you can see, it is now five lug. So, um, I had to do a five lug ka. conversion kit. Okay. Yeah. I had to do that one in order to get uh, more. Uh, uh, choices in tie and wheels, right? Right, yeah, right. A lot of wheels they don't have uh, four by one fourteen. Uh -huh. So unless you can do like the old school, you uh -huh. know. Yeah. But uh -huh. this one I wanted more of like a modern, time correct type of. Um, Chaka meron kang car, right? kang wheel options. To yeah, choose from, a lot of right? wheel options. Mm -hmm. So I did the front hub conversion, rear hub conversion, also five lug. Tapos ito blitz, um, blitz wheels. I think this is the blitz O. Oh, oh, 03 or 01? This is 01. Blitz 01. Yeah. Yeah, Blitz 01. So, 03, I think, are the, the $10,000 wheels now, right? Oh, uh, you know. <laughs> Blitz 03. No, this one's not $10,000. This is 01. So, 
Yeah, pero ito nakuha ko sa ano, online din ito, Instagram. Um, there's a place used used the uh, used, used racing parts. Mm -hmm. So oh, I went I know that Yeah, guy. so used racing parts. I, I went here. He's from Indonesia, right? Indonesia. So Shout I went out to you, bro, if you're watching this. Yeah. Um, I know he's following me and I follow him. Okay. So shout out to you. I'm going to buy some set of seats from you. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually, we'll talk about that too. <laughs> yeah, later, later, later. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> so this one came from him. Um, it has a little bit of oxidation because it's, you know, it's, it's an old, it's an old wheel. But it's not bad, man. Yeah. So I went to go and uh, get it redone, um, took off the faces, really disassembled it. So I put, I gave the lip and the barrel to ET wheels over in, um, San Leandro. Uh -huh. And then they went ahead and polished it. Um, you know, took off all the oxidation, really made it look like the way it is now. There was no problems. It was good. So until now. I still have it. There's no, nice. there's no, okay. yeah, nothing wrong with it. Ganda. I'm still running stock, um, stock, uh, brakes. brakes, but I had to do the conversion, um, and get the five lug from the, uh, later models, mm -hmm. the 96, I believe okay. the SE models uh -huh. for, um, the 96 240 in order to get the five lug. Right. Um, Disc. So we, we covered the wheels, we covered the brake conversion uh, and the rotor conversion. Um, what about your suspension? My suspension, okay, so suspension is riding on BCBR coilovers. Okay. Um, so that's 8K front, 6K back. Wow, that's so, pretty stif uh, stiff. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's it's cool. I like it. Um, good. It's, it gives good handling, good response. Um, especially added with these tires, the um, Grivas, mm -hmm. Valino Griva tires, they're amazing. So. And, it, and it gives you that extra um, workout when yeah. you drive the car, right? Extra workout, extra Sheds feel. Yeah, the bouncing, the tag tag talaga. But you know, it's, it's, it's funny because when you sit in it, it really gives you the, the sport feeling, you know. But it's maganda kasi doon pag stiff yung feeling ng suspension mo. Parang, parang nasa tanki ka. Yeah. Diba? Yung yeah. parang alam mong undestructible yeah. suspension mo, wala kang, wala kang mararamdaman or iisipin na baka mag-bottom yung kotse mo pagka yeah. medyo naluba ka ng konti, yeah. right? Yeah, nope. So, wala, I have no problems. Tapos yung ano, suspension parts niya pa, yung uh, arms niya, I changed the arms also of course, all the suspension arms. Um, uh, I believe it's, um, it's called SP, SPL parts. Mm -hmm. So SPL um, full arm uh, conversions. So you know, so really under there, if you look at it, talagang it's 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 nice and nice and beefy. Okay. Tapos now yung plan ko is to drop my rear subframe because mm -hmm. I have a new subframe at home. Wow. So, so I have a full new subframe that I already put new bushings in. Mm -hmm. I just want to put it up and then put an OS Gaiken um, uh, rear diff. 1.5 so sway. There's yeah. still a lot of plans for this car. Oh yeah, it's not so done. So, makikita natin yan sa mga susunod na vlogs natin. Alright, so we're done with the exterior. I'm pretty sure we have covered everything. Let's go to the interior this time. Okay, awesome. Okay, so first, you see it's, you know, uh, the red Recaros. Like I told you earlier, um, I was going to tell you a story about this one. It's used racing part product also you talk about your racing seat earlier uh -huh. this came from him uh, this used to be a two-set uh, Recaro front uh, drivers and passenger mm -hmm. um, and it's it's still nice until now um, I got it in 2019 also it's, I think this was the SR2 model Recaro SR2 model. looks like it yeah, yeah SR2 yeah. SR2 so I have this one as well as the drivers the drivers at home now um, because I traded it for this uh, vertex uh, vertex bride seat right here so this one is a carbon what's it called a carbon kevlar backing also um so you know it's a it's really a nice seat this one um expensive but nice <laughs> but still um, whatever makes you happy bro yeah exactly um, whatever makes you happy it feels good drives good rides good um it's like I, sitting on a cup Yes, definitely. Like you, when you sit on it, very you get stable. sucked in. That's uh -huh. it. Yeah, Di naman masakit, cup, man. lumbar and all. Lumbar very comfortable. support is, uh, is is amazing. Lumbar support's good. Um, yeah, like I said, pagkat talaga if you sit in it, parang bang suction cup na. Uh -huh. Ganon ka kagad. Ka yeah, ihigup no? ka talaga. Wow. Ganon. Um, 
tawo sa to chasing Jay's titanium shift knob, weighted titanium shift knob. Um, you know, that one is also good because I I like it. It's it's one of the centerpieces inside the car that you really you know draws your eye. Um, yeah. With it being fully titanium weighted, also um, you don't see a lot of that. And all their products are always limited run products, mm -hmm. so you might be the only one that has it, or you and like ten people probably usually only have it. Mm -hmm. So, which is good. I like that. I like the exclusivity of the the piece. Um, that was it though. The interior, yeah, um, full black. This was converted from. Uh, from brown. Is it? Uh, oh, okay. So it's brown because it's USDM, right? US. Yeah. Well, USDM. The color code for the um, KG4 mm -hmm. sandstone metallic. Um, they Comes actually only interior. they only came in brown interior. Oh, um, with, okay. So it was a limited. It was a limited color production. Uh -huh. um, I believe um, from '92, um, and not that many of them had the brown interior before. But when I bought it, like I said. Um, it need a lot of work, mm, I So, um, I was forced to uh, get a donor car, um, and actually strip that donor car with the interior, and um, replace the interior to this one, which is black now. That was yung dash nya, crackless, as you can see here, no cracks at all. Super fresh. So I have to and make sure be. that it is protected yeah, so i have the dash, dash, cover, cover, dash cover dash cover on all there the time. yeah so which dash, is a good thing yeah i mean there's not a lot of cars that you can get fresh parts from mm -hmm. and that's the reason why gitnawa ni nick na kumuha siya ng donor car medyo matrabaho pero yeah you think it's all worth it right definitely worth it to get a donor car especially if the donor car is it's if it's a spare parts car but the interior is still clean I would just go ahead and spend the extra money just to get that donor car and just pull the stuff out of it. Right, yeah. right, right. I mean, there's obviously little pieces still that needed work. Like, if you look at the um, door right door here. Door sides. The door, uh, the door cards. This is actually from um, Speed Faction. Uh -huh. uh, or, or uh, yeah, Speed or oh, Street, so you Street had Faction. It made. This was their, um, this was their molded um, model of the door card which is actually modeled from the actual doors. Mm -hmm. um, but it's uh, made out of carbon plastic, I believe this one is, or, mm -hmm. or plastic composite. Yeah, so that it's, like yeah, that. so it's very, um, it's easy to mold and then at the same time, it's the structure holds. Yeah, it's, it, it's firm and it's yeah. sturdy, it looks sturdy. Yeah. And so it's not easy and it's not hard to, you know, it's maintain not hard. clean. It's not hard to maintain clean. You just wipe it down with like a wet rag and then spray your, um, you know, protect it, whatever you want to use uh, on here. And uh, lastly, ito yung gutted out tayo sa likod, right? Yeah. So and uh, we decided to what? Put this? Put the Merfolk crossbar. Um, that one helps with the stiffness on the suspension on the rear, really connects it together. Tapos, I put the added um, C pillar bar uh -huh. on the top, and that helps really put it all together. So nasa ano na tayo, nasa engine na tayo na part yeah. Nick, show us how you do release the hood. So it has like hood pins, right? Hood Tama pins. Ba yeah, hood, well, hood <laughs> latch. Hood ah, latch hood or latch. hood pins, whichever you want to call it. Uh, that was for five. this one, talaga, you have to push here. That was the release. Okay, push so here. Release the, you can release the it. Yeah. Extra, ano yan, extra locking kasi, mechanisms. Kasi it's fiberglass, sure. diba? it's, it's and, lighter. Uh -huh. You don't want it to fly. So Tama. you have to. Lalo 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 if you're driving on the freeway. Diba? Yeah. That was the stock release, yeah, and mm -hmm. so you just pull, pull it. Okay, still the same. So, you just have to pull it out so, and it releases. Like pop. Like so, pop up na siya. Yeah. Okay. So, nothing really to see for this one um, except for the stuff that I had to remove, delete, and add. Mm -hmm. Pero, Which we're going to talk about right now. Yeah. So, for this one, it's still the stock KA motor. Uh huh. Kasi ano, healthy pa rin naman. Uh -huh. Wala akong walang problema. Dependable tong motor na to. Tell us about the engine. Ano ba ang horsepower nito? So, for this one, I think 
they're saying the horsepower before was 147 150 uh -huh. but the torque is high so because it is a, a truck engine okay. essentially um originally when nissan made this in japan it was the sr20 det okay. um but in the in the u.s market they ditched that one and they put a truck engine in there so you can find this one in the old frontier oh, really? yeah the nissan frontier that's what they had in there oh, so that's the motor they had oh, yeah okay. I, um i want one of those you know, nissan frontier yeah so the, the, the 90s old frontier yeah the 19th frontier will come with this motor so as you can see here if you look at other 240s there's no clutch fan here there used to be a clutch fan on this one that, that will circulate and pull the motor down mm -hmm. but because of the hood like i said we had some fitment issues with the hood with that one so we had to delete the clutch fan and then i had to go on with the electric fans that is found in the, the back, at the of back right radiator. here of the radiator so those are dual fans dual right? fans dual electric fans and it's connected to the uh, module over there that controls them it's going to be right over here. there that's the module that that's connected onto that one that will turn it on and off depending mm -hmm. on the temperature of the of the, the engine the coolant. If the, yeah if the if the engine is really mm -hmm. hot and then the hot. sensor for the coolant is that it's over here that will actually turn on and off the okay. electric fans okay. um mishimoto in um uh radiator upgrade and then because of that i had to also change yung intake niya um, as you can see, engine intake na to, in, in, in a stock. Mm -hmm. So with the engine engine intake, it adds, you know, I think it said five to 10 horsepower. Um, so we're probably sitting at 150, 50, 160 160 right ish, something yeah, like something that. Yeah, like something like that. Not too bad, um, depending, you know, it's just, you know, an everyday cruiser, canyon cutter kind of thing. Um, and I'm happy, you know, I'm, I have no problems with it. Um, other than that one time that I had, you know, when we were filming, about to film that one time, we had issues with the um, injector where it was giving the misfire, cylinder uh -huh. one misfire. So they replaced uh, the whole injector system, yeah. right? So they, I think they, they changed, they changed the whole the, thing. Okay. Um, and then, you know, from then on, no, no problems anymore. So, you know, I'm happy with it. Like I said, it's, uh, it's a dependable motor. Giving the fact that you keep up with the maintenance, um, also we you know, we change. I mean, it's a '92. It's a 30-something year old car. You know, it's a 30-year-old like, car. Like so, yeah. so um, you know, this this is a very special morning for us here in the channel. And uh, these are you know some of the unicorns of the street that you really can't find most of the time whenever you go around or get around. Right. So uh, again, thank you, uh, Nick. For giving us the chance, baka meron kung gusto mong batiyan sa channel natin. Shoutouts, kung sino man. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Shoutouts. Um, first, thank you to uh, to Bud, the Bud TV, for having me on their channel, thank you. and also uh, talk about my car. Um, thanks to my cousins. Like I said, they're the ones talaga sila nagpush sa akin na get a 240, get the hatch. You know, Jr. and Josh. Thanks for thanks to them. Damon also, Camry on Bronze, thank you for all the guidance that you've given me on figuring out this car because there was a lot of things I figured out of this car and thanks to you also. Um, Nissan Part CC for providing me with the front end conversion on this one. Cool front end, bro. Yeah, they're awesome. Uh, Use racing parts on Instagram, thanks for the wheels, thanks for the seats. Bud's gonna, gonna hit you up also, man. <laughs> I'm actually hitting him up. Yeah. And, uh, I'm still a flagger at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Hey, but he's a good one. Um, you know, Nissan for, you know, creating this P masterpiece. I mean, yeah, it's an old car. There's a lot of cars out there that you could have probably, I could have probably spent time on or money on. But man, to have something like this and to look back on it and say, you know what, this is a timepiece, you know, like it's not, it's nothing that will win a lot of car shows. It's nothing that will wow the, the average person. But when you look at it, it's something different about this car. That's really just, that's what took me about the car too. And, and also my son, you know, um, he, if you watch this, Jaden, you will have this car by the age of 15, you will look back on YouTube and you will see this, you will see me in 
hopefully it brings back memories of the times that we spent together. And then you can screen capture, Jaden, this part of the video wherein your dad told you that you'd be having this car. <laughs> so, walang kawala yan, Jaden. Yeah. If you know how to speak Filipino, you definitely it's have to... It's a contract to now. Yeah. <laughs> so, recorded na to. Wala nang kawala yeah. yung dad mo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. So, hopefully, like, when you look at this thing, you'll see, you know, you'll remember the times that we spent with this car. So, yeah. Wow, very, very special message. Um, but yeah, then again, thank you for spending time with me. And uh, I'm going to see a lot more of this car sa mga susunod nating videos. Definitely, yeah. yes, you will. Alright, so para naman makita ako, baka sabihin yung wala ako sa ano eh, wala ako purbos. The man behind the voice right here. <laughs> para makita nyo ako. Again, marami salamat for watching uh, this special uh, episode natin ng car feature videos. If you like the video, please smash that like button. Tapos, pag hindi pa kayo nakapag-subscribe sa channel natin, please do subscribe para makapanood pa kayo mga special videos, car videos. Papakita natin lahat yan, one car at a time. We immortalize cars dito sa channel natin. Yes. One car at a time. Marami akong natutunan dito sa Nissan na to and marami pang ituturo si Nick sa akin. So, once again, from uh, Niles District dito sa Fremont, California, this has been Bud TV and Nick, the owner of the 1992 uh, na ako, 240 SX. SX. This has been Bud TV again. Maraming salamat. We'll see you on the next episode. Keep, take it easy. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>